passing of Bishop Emeritus Howard Hubbard is now impacting a lawsuit that's been several years in the making. The case of former St. Clair's hospital workers in Schenectady who did not receive some or all of their pension money that they were owed remains unresolved. News 10 ABC's Juliana Bruno joining us live in the studio right now to explain. Juliana. Casey and Trishna, Mary Hartshorn, chair of the St. Clair's Pension Recovery Alliance, says the past few months of the case have felt like big steps forward, followed by big steps backward, most recently because of the death of one of the defendants. Another delay? I, I just don't quite know how much more we can take. When the diocese filed for bankruptcy earlier this year, a hold was placed on the lawsuit over the loss of St. Clair's workers' pensions. The diocese didn't oppose a motion by the pensioners to lift the automatic stay, and a bankruptcy judge ruled in their favor, allowing their case to move forward in state court. But now, following the passing of Bishop Emeritus Howard Hubbard, a defendant in the pension case, another stay has been triggered until September 21st, when the court will require counsel to provide an update. With all due respect to the bishop dying, for us, we're losing people too. Our pensioners are dying. The news of Bishop Hubbard's passing brings up complicated emotions for Hartshorn. The attorney general's lawsuit alleges the St. Clair's Corporation, led by Bishop Hubbard and later Bishop Scharfenberger, violated its fiduciary duties by failing to make necessary contributions to the pension plan. And it's between he and the Lord. It's discouraging that we weren't able to face him, speak with him. But in my opinion, it's all in the plan. And I think many of the pensioners showed exactly who they were by saying that they hope that his family gets through this. And so the pensioners continued their work with AARP Foundation attorneys on their case against the diocese. Meanwhile, the church prepares for Hubbard's services. The Christian burial mass will take place Friday at St. Pius X Church in Loudonville with Bishop Scharfenberger presiding. Public visitation from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. with mass starting right at 11.30. Live in studio tonight, Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC.